Hey guys, this is John. All right, I'm gonna make three Puzzle Rush runs. I've got my coffee, I'm ready to go. It's an Americano today. Uh, five minutes per run, I'm gonna review the problems that I get wrong afterwards. If I get any wrong, I probably will. My record still stands at 45 all time. So let's see if we can crack that, shall we? All right, run number one. Last time I did Puzzle Rush was the last video, Puzzle Rush. Okay, Queen G2 mate. Uh, rook h7, rook h5, queen g7 mate here, gotta nail those checkmates in one, uh, knight d4 looks strong here, opening up queen takes g2 mate, this is a back ranker, hmm, undeveloping move by white here, just go in the queen, okay, uh, check, pick up the bishop, uh, take f8, take the bishop, okay, bishop f6, remove the defender, looks strong, yep, Okay, we're always going up, we're pushing up. What is black threatening? King d3? Is king d3 a possible idea? Uh-huh, I promote. Okay, let's take. Hmm. Some sort of deflection. White's queen looks overworked. Uh, take and go pick up the knight is the solution. Okay, queen h4 looks good. Uh-huh, uh, knight b5 maybe? Or just knight takes d8? Queen takes a3 also possible. Queen takes a3 just looks strong here. And queen e7, okay. Gotta be winning a rook here. Take and come back. Okay, looking good. Knight d3 checkmate, Budapest trap. This is a mate in two. Okay, I'm at 21 with 345. Plenty of time remaining. Skewer. Okay, g5, trap the knight. Okay. Um, let's see. Black's covering a lot of stuff here. e6 looks strong, threatening rook f7. What else could it be? I think that's got to be the move. Yeah, check. All right. I want to get towards f2. This is a back rank idea again. Bishop controlling d2. Okay, queen e1. Queen e1 followed by g4. Okay. Queen e1 and then go take the rook. Or take on e3 rather. Not sure about that. Probably this check first and then take here. Okay. Hmm. The queen is hanging on h5. Is there some sort of problem with taking it? Not that I can see. I'm going to do it. Okay. Queen e8 or queen g6. Queen g6 is mating. Check and mate. Okay. Uh, queen d8 not working. Queen f7, bishop d7. Knight d5. Knight d5 looking good here. Knight d5, king b8. Ah, but we win the queen. Okay. So queen d6 is mate. Check and take the bishop. That would be a default move. Ah, there's bishop a3, though. And then take here. Okay. Queen c6. Or bishop f2. Queen c6 and then bishop f2. Uh-huh. Remove the defender of the queen. Okay, good little run here. Knight g4, threatening knight h6. Looks natural and strong. I'm going to just bet that that's the move. Okay. Check on the back rank. And then what? What's the follow-up? Don't see it. Mm. Okay, go take the queen. It's got to be this move. What's the follow-up after that, though? Ah, bishop d5. That's nice. Bishop d5 and come back and take the queen. Okay. Take, take, take f8. Queen c6. Ooh, queen c6 is a killer, I would think. And then queen a8 checkmate. Okay. Check g1. Check g1, rook h4. Black's going to have a hard time stopping mate there. Okay. That's an easy one. <laughs> okay, check and rook e1. That should be a mating net. Mm -hmm. Rook b7, rook b7, and how do I get out of this pin eventually? Rook b7, rook c7. Block, okay. Mat 40, bishop f2. Bishop f2 or knight a6 maybe. That queen is almost trapped. Mm, I like knight a6, queen d7 though. Bishop f2 on the other hand just looks like it's running out of steam after king d1. I'd really like to make knight a6 work. Not seeing how though. Bishop f2 and then what? Aha, bishop f2 and bishop b6. Could it be? It is, okay. Do we take or do we go for mate? Let's just take. All right. 
25 seconds left. I have a good score going. Knight b5. Knight b5. Hmm. How about knight d1? Knight d1 looks good. Mate, okay. Uh, knight f3. Yikes, no time. How about this? I feel like I've had this problem before. I don't know the solution, though. <laughs> uh, it's queen h3. Queen h3 right here at the end. Check. I think that's it. All right, well, that was a good run to start out. 42. A perfect run. No problems wrong. I mean, in hindsight, I should have just fired away a little bit more at the end, but I had a, a nice rhythm going. I didn't want to mess with it. Okay. Yeah, and I think this last one, as I said, is queen h3. And then if black blocks with the bishop, I think rook d8 check. Can I make the moves on here? So here, king has nowhere to go. So bishop e6. If queen e6, there's knight e7. He's going to pick up the rook on g8. Or you could take it, then knight e7, I suppose. So yeah, if um, bishop he... Okay, it's not letting me play it. Let me click into this problem. Hopefully my screen capture is good for this. I think it is. Yeah, and knight c6 initially, by the way. So it hits the queen. If black takes on c6, then white can play queen takes a6. And I think queen takes a2 after that. So yeah, this is the solution. Rook d8, take, take. Queen here and go take the rook. All right, that was a fun run. Let's do this again. Try to improve, right? Okay, knight c7. Take the rook. Mm -hmm. uh, if I take, what's the follow up there? Well, I gotta take its check, so okay. Uh, take. Hmm. Is there some sort of trap of the queen here? Ah, rook d8 at the end, I guess. Oh, no, not rook d8. Hmm, that was a weird problem. Not sure what the follow up was gonna be there, but trust that it's winning. Okay, queen h6 is mate, I'll check, take, bishop f7 mate, check and go in the bishop, loose pieces galore, okay, knight e7 is mate, take e2 looks simple, up a piece, queen h1 mate, bishop f3 followed by rook h1, yep, gotta be a knight, ooh, I think it was some other knight move. Little careless right there. Rook g8 is checked. Oh, my mouse slipped. <laughs> I meant to play rook g8. Okay. So this run not looking so good, but keep it up. Uh, bishop d4, he takes. Nothing working there, so let's take here. Okay. Check. Go take the rook with check. Got to be some sort of pin here. Rook e1, maybe. Rook e1, d5, then just f3, I suppose. Okay, so we're going to take. Mm -hmm. Where is the crushing move here? Knight's covering f7. Knight e6 looks pretty good, but I'm not completely sure about it. This knight is annoying. Maybe just f4. Let's try it. Okay. Take. Go big or go home at this point. Take here. Okay. Queen e4. Queen e4 looks strong. And then take g2 check. We're getting there on the long diagonal. Bishop b5. Okay. Whoa, weird position here. Rook h8 and then promote. Rook h8, queen d8. And then we're mating. Okay. Check, check. Rook g2, and win the queen on c8. Uh-huh, this is a nice pattern to know. Get rook h1 made in eventually. Knight e4 or queen f2. Knight e4 looks so natural here. Queen g1 also looks natural. Hmm. Queen g1. Queen g1, queen g2. Bishop f2 wins. So queen g1, king h4, and what's the follow-up there? Bishop f2 at that point? I'm going to go with this. Yeah, bishop f2. 
Knight f6, attractive move. I think that should be winning. Let's do it and check going the rook. Ooh, okay. Uh, queen h3 or knight f3? Queen h3 is pretty forcing. Seems to win material. I don't know if it's mating though. Knight f3 also looks very strong. I'm gonna go with queen h3. Mm, okay, wrong. So 31 on that run. Bringing me back to earth a little bit, right? <laughs> All right, let's go in order here in the puzzles that I got wrong. Hmm. Yeah, interestingly, two of the ones that I got wrong involved a pair of knights and a queen right around the enemy king. So here I played knight f3. <laughs> okay, queen g2 is checkmate. I missed a mate in one, as I'm sure many of you wrote in the comments. <laughs> queen g2, checkmate. Yeah, knight f3 is a good move, but hard to argue with mate in one over that. All right, and then this one was just, I think this is the one I slipped on, right? Yeah, I played rook f8, but I meant to play rook g8 mate. It's just a mate on the next move. Okay, and then this last one here. It's probably knight f3, huh? Yeah, knight f3, check. That's a fork. Then take here. Aha, uh -huh. and queen h2 mate is basically unstoppable because if f takes g4, there's queen g2 checkmate. Yeah, that's better. The way I played it, queen takes h3 first. I was looking at g takes f on h3, knight f3, check. Go take the queen, but... Yeah, white, white can survive. All right, and now final run, guys. Let me take a pull of uh, Iced Americano here. No mouse slips, no whammies. Let's do this. Take the free rook. Take here. Back ranker. Giving a little less commentary, I know, this time around. But trying to post a good score. Okay. Check and go mate h2. Which c8 is mate. Uh, check and then take the queen. Okay, take b2 looks justified. Check on e3. And then what do I have after king f1? Maybe just take the knight. Probably just go take the knight. And then escape the checks. Okay. Let's take. And I actually did not see that move, but I think it's fine. Okay, take here, in between move, check d6, yeah, check d6, and then take, go after the bishop, bishop g5 looks good, gotta cut off the retreats, and then queen e7, okay, looking for double attacks, uh, check on c3 must be, okay. This is a good one to know. Go pick up the loose bishop. Rook f4 wins the queen. Take. And then come back with the bishop. Got to be a queen trap or skewer of some sort. Bishop g5. Yep. Yeah. Mm, check. Win the rook. 98 blocks. We can get queen g7 in. Take. 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 Ooh, we got the smothered mate. No, it's not even a smothered mate. <laughs> False alarm. Still a mate. Okay, knight h4 or knight e5? Knight e5. Knight e5, the king runs, but to no avail, I think. We get this and the skewer. Okay, take. Come back with the knight. Knight g6. No. Rook e8 not working. Knight d5 maybe. Knight d5 seems too far-fetched. I mean, knight g6 seems like the type of move you'd want to play here, but how is that working? Not seeing it. Um, again, looking at knight d5, I don't think that's the solution, though. What am I missing after knight g6? There's really no follow-up after they take the queen, right? Not seeing it. Okay, let's just play a safe move. Okay. Queen check. Ooh, that was wrong. All right. It's got to be this move. And then take f4. And then check and mate. Okay, only one strike. Not bad. Two minutes. Take. OK, 
Okay, he's got tricks. We also have tricks at the end. So allow this combination, take, and then give a check. Mm -hmm. Rookie one is a nice shot. Let's take that. Okay, we're attacking on the light squares here. Probably just check and go take the bishop. Mm -hmm. Queen g5? Where's that knight going? King f7 now? Danger. Looks all right, though. Okay. Bishop a5, perhaps? I'm going to take a gamble that that's the move. Calculated risk. Knight g4, they just castle. Got to be something with this knight. Go check and go take the knight. Okay. Careful, careful. How do I get out of this? Bishop g6 first? No. Mm, queen a3 is so obvious, but you get checked. You lose g7 at the end. Could it be bishop g6 first? That's going to end in a draw. But maybe. Um, I'm going to try it. Nope, wasn't right. Okay. Queen c6. Let's try. Okay, take. Take. 27 seconds. Queen e2 looks strong here. Queen e2. Yeah, let's go for it. Take. What is this? Tricky business again. Okay, take. And queen e4. I don't know. Okay. Three seconds. Ah, just guess something. <laughs> All right. Was running out there. 39. Didn't quite make it to 40 there. Okay. Not a bad one this time around, although first run was clearly best for me. So this one felt like a slam dunk. What did I play? Queen e5. Uh, queen e5 runs into d6, I think. I believe I thought that black had to play queen d6 for some reason against that. Queen e5, queen d6. I wanted to play knight b5, but that was a big assumption because they don't have to play queen d6. So yeah, rook c2 was winning the queen. Okay. And what about this one? This was a confounding problem because queen a3 is the autopilot move here to try to set up queen b2 checkmate. But I thought queen h7, king f8, queen h8, king e7, take here. Ah, uh, but then king e6, I guess, and keep that pawn protected. I don't know why I didn't look at that. Although there's still a check there. It's a little bit tricky. I guess king d7. That's probably the solution though, right? Yeah, king e6 protecting f6. I just saw if white... Gets to take f6 with check and then go take c3. I wouldn't be able to mate on b2, but okay, yeah, this this allows black to dance away with the king. It's a good problem right there. And then this last one, let's try to figure it out. Just played something because I was running out of time. Definitely looks like it should be something going towards the king on h7 or some other square. Queen h5 is a candidate move. Queen f5, it's probably queen f5. Queen f5 looks good here, threatening to take h7. And of g6, we can take f6. So let's click into that and see. Yeah, queen f5 is the solution. Take. Yeah, and white's just up a piece. Okay. All right, so I definitely think when you're doing your puzzle rush runs, it's good to limit the number of sessions that you're doing so you don't turn into a puzzle rush junkie. <laughs> and also do what I do, go back and look at the problems that you got wrong. Even if it's just very briefly, you know, it's still kind of constructive. I mostly think puzzle rush is an indication of where you're at tactically. I think your traditional tactics are gonna be uh, better for your improvement, but it's fun to do puzzle rush every once in a while. Put yourself under pressure and try to solve as many uh, tactics as you can in a short period of time. So 42, 31, 39, not bad. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a good week, everyone, and I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye, guys.